Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to the fourth video of uh, room database tutorial series. So in this video I'm going to show you how to implement uh, update function. So uh, so far we have uh, created uh, the logic for adding the user to our database and of course reading uh, all users from the database and uh, implementing them in the recycler view. So let's add uh, one more user here. Okay, so as you can see, we have successfully added uh, one more. And uh, before we start implementing the function for uh, updating, uh, I want to reorganize this uh, project structure just a little bit. So uh, first, we're going to create a new package here named uh, update. And inside uh, this package, uh, we're going to uh, add our new fragment, which is uh, update fragment. So let's create a new uh, blank uh, fragment here. Okay, and uh, let's uh, rename to uh, this to uh, update fragment. Okay, so. Uh, click finish now and uh, from here uh, we're going to remove basically uh, everything uh, we're going to just leave this uh, on create uh, view method uh, like we did in the previous two uh, fragments okay so uh, after that uh, what we're going to do uh, we're going to organize our structure here so we're going to create a new package here uh, named the model and inside this package we're going to put our model class and our model class is actually our user class okay so let's uh, drag and drop that here and uh, click uh, refactor okay so click refactor and uh, now uh, what we're going to do we're going to create uh, one more package for a view uh, for a user view model so let's uh, name this package uh, view model okay and uh, we're going to drag and drop this uh, user view model here. So click uh, refactor and uh, let's create another one. This will be the last one for our repository. And uh, for example, uh, when you are working on uh, more bigger projects, then you would uh, place those uh, model, view model and repository uh, packages inside the data package. But um, because this is just a simple project for a room database, uh, we're going to organize our project uh, just like it is right now, okay? So we have fragments, we have model, repository, view model, and data package. So uh, that's fine for now, and uh, it's a clean architecture, okay? So uh, next, we're going to uh, design our fragment update layout. So basically, our new uh, layout will have the same, basically the same layout as our uh, fragment add layout. So what we're going to do, we're going to copy everything from here. So let's copy that and we're going to paste that inside our new layout. So let's change this frame uh, layout to constraint layout and paste that here. So let's import this, okay. And uh, we need to change the IDs. So uh, the first uh, ID will have the ID of update first name. The second one update last name. Okay, the third one uh, update age, ET. Okay, and here update button. And let's change the name for this button to update, okay. And uh, we're going to add this uh, padding to 24 dp on our constraint layout. So uh, this is basically how uh, will our layout look like. So just a simple layout. And next, uh, head over to our navigation graph. So here we need to add uh, one more destination. And that destination is actually our fragment update, okay? So here uh, we need to connect those arrows or actions. So let's connect list fragment to update fragment and update fragment to list fragment. Okay, so that's how our... Uh, navigation graph should look like. Uh, so first, uh, let's change the label attribute for our update fragment. So let's open up this uh, XML and let's change this to update. So next, what we need to do, uh, we need to add the uh, argument. So uh, basically, uh, when user uh, press uh, some item or clicks on one item in recycler view, we want to pass that user object to our update fragment, okay? So in order to do that, uh, we need to implement the uh, safe args. So uh, we need to add the argument here. But before that, uh, we need to create uh, or extend our user class with uh, parcelable. Okay, so uh, let's open up our uh, user uh, class and this class should extend the uh, parcelable. Okay, so that's how we will be able to pass our user object. And here, uh, don't forget to annotate this class uh, with a parcelize annotation. And now uh, when we try to uh, add the argument with the type of this uh, parcelized user class, it will uh, be possible. So select update fragment and here let's add this argument. The name of this argument should be uh, current uh, user. And for the type, uh, we're going to choose our uh, custom object, which is, uh, which is a user object. So as you can see now, our user class appeared here. And just click OK and add. So basically uh, what we want to do, 
Whenever our user uh, clicks or selects one item from the recycler view, we want to navigate our user to update fragment and we want to uh, pass the user uh, object from our list fragment to our uh, update fragment. Okay, so uh, to do that, we will uh, add on click listener in our list adapter. But first, uh, let's open a custom row uh, layout and uh, we need to add the ID for our constraint layout here because we want to add the on click listener for this constraint layout, and that's basically our whole item. Okay, so let's name this uh, row layout and inside our list adapter uh, we want to add a holder.itemView.row uh, layout and let's add an on click listener. Okay, uh, so here uh, I want to create an action variable and uh, I want to use this uh, list fragment directions. So this class is uh, automatically generated for our list fragment. Okay. And basically with this uh, we can pass our user object to our uh, uh, update fragment okay so uh, we need to use uh, action so uh, if you don't see the action uh, you need to rebuild your project uh, because that uh, might happen sometime so let's rebuild our project so we can see our action okay and now uh, we should see our action list fragment to update fragment uh, in the, in the parameters that's the place where we uh, should pass our user object and we just pass our current item which is basically the current item uh, which user selects okay and uh, we need to use um, find um, or uh, holder dot item view dot find nav controller and here we need to pass this action inside our navigate method okay and that's basically it so uh, whenever user selects one uh, item or one user in a recycler view we're going to pass this uh, current user from our list fragment to our update fragment uh, using a uh, safe arcs of course so uh, as you can see nothing happens and uh, that's why uh, we need to open up our uh, update fragment to actually implement the logic to show the current user inside our uh, edit text okay so uh, here uh, first what we're going to do we're going to create a private variable name args and we want to use a property uh, delegate to uh, our nav args and here uh, we need to pass our update fragment args and uh, if you see this warning uh, that means that uh, you need to add uh, uh, compile options and kotlin options uh, inside your uh, gradle build file so i'm going to just paste this compile options and Kotlin options to uh, target uh, Java version to uh, 1.8 and now sync your project and uh, everything should work fine you will see uh, no error so uh, this update fragment args is basically a class with which is uh, automatically generated when we uh, created argument for our update fragment from a uh, navigation graph and uh, this uh, update fragment args will contain our uh, current user so uh, first i want to um, uh, set the text uh, to all our edit texts and as you can see i'm using these args to get the current user and the first name last name and age so let's convert this age to string because the initial value is uh, integer okay as you can see we have converted that to string so we can set the text to our edit texts and now let's check it out so when we select one of those uh, items as you can see we will be navigated to this update fragment and all our edit texts will be populated with that user so that's the power of uh, this uh, safe args and uh, now uh, I'm going to add the on click listener for our update button and here uh, we want to create a new function uh, which will uh, basically update our item in the database so here uh, first we're going to create um, three uh, variables for first name last name and uh, age and basically uh, we want to get the text from our edit text and store them in the, in those uh, variables okay so for the age get text and uh, convert to string okay uh, so uh, we need to parse this uh, string to integer because uh, our user class accepts only uh, integer for the age property okay and now from the add uh, fragment we want to copy this uh, input check function because we're going to use this function in our uh, update fragment as well so let's uh, say if input check is true so let's pass all those uh, parameters so the first name okay so we forgot to add this uh, to string let's add that as well and now uh, pass first name as you can see it is string last name and uh, age so age uh, should be editable as you can see so let's uh, just uh, pass this uh, pass that as uh, this update age uh, edit text 
All right, so uh, now let's create a view model uh, here and uh, let's use this uh, late init uh, var. Okay, and uh, here just type uh, user view model and inside our on create view method, uh, we're going to initialize this uh, view model. So let's use a view model provider class. Let's pass the owner. Let's use this get method and let's pass the name of our view model. Okay, and now uh, inside this if block, uh, we're going to call uh, a method for updating our uh, user. So before that, of course, uh, we need to create our uh, updated user object. So here, let's import that and let's pass here. So first uh, is ID. And uh, for the ID, we're going to use uh, our safe args to get the current user and get the ID. And the second parameter, first name, uh, the third last name and the last one age. Okay, so basically we have created our uh, updated user object. Okay. And here we are going to use a view model to uh, call our uh, update uh, function for a uh, room database. But first uh, we need to open up our uh, database DAO or data access object. And we need to create a query for updating the user. So there is already predefined, uh, there is uh, already predefined uh, annotation for uh, updating the user. So we're going to use this uh, update annotation and just use uh, and create function named the update user and pass the user. So as you can see, this function uh, have also this suspend keyword because we're going to use uh, Kotlin coroutines as well. And uh, here inside the repository, let's uh, create a new function as well. So pass the user as a parameter and let's use this uh, user DAO. And let's find this update user and pass the user, okay? And inside our view model, uh, we're going to create this uh, function again. And from the view model, uh, we're going to use a Kotlin coroutine. So let's use a view model scope and uh, let's use this uh, dispatchers IO. That means that we're going to run this uh, query from a background thread. And now that we have created this function from our view model, now we can access that function from here. And as a parameter, we're going to pass our updated user, okay? All right. And uh, after we have updated our user, uh, we want to navigate back to our uh, uh, list fragment so let's just navigate to this uh, with this action and let's just display a simple toast message saying um, successfully updated or something updated it successfully and uh, let's use the show method and in else block uh, we're going to add uh, one more toast message saying uh, uh, please fill uh, out all fields and uh, let's call this update item method inside our on click listener so basically uh, that's everything we need for our update fragment and uh, so basically we have used this uh, safe args to uh, get the argument from our list fragment which our user uh, sent and basically we are uh, displaying that in our edit text and then we are uh, just updating our item. So it's simple as that. So of course this project will be available for you to download uh, in the video description so you can check it out and uh, let's run our application to see if uh, everything works fine. Okay, so select uh, one of those items and as you can see our edit text is successfully uh, populated and now uh, let's change the, the name to uh, something like a James and let's change the uh, last name to something like a Brown for example and let's change also the name property or uh, the age property to for example 77. So click update. And as you can see, we are navigated back to our list fragment and we can see that our item is successfully updated. Uh, so we can furthermore update our uh, item as much as we want and uh, everything works perfectly fine. So uh, in the next video, uh, I'm going to show you how to, you can uh, delete uh, single and all items from your database.